We all make mistakes. Some are small, some are large. But his mistake, born of innocence, fueled by pride, was the greatest and most terrible of them all. Some believed when the prince journeyed to the island of time to escape death, that he returned alone. The amulet destroyed. The Dahaka appeased. The Empress dead. The Prince was free at last. But this is not how it happened. The truth is that he chose to save me from my destiny. In doing so, he set me free. And doomed us all. Prince, of all the possible futures, this one held the most promise, but something has changed. Do not worry, Kailina. No harm will come to you in Babylon. I promise. Look, we are nearly home. As our ship lay sinking in the harbor, the prince found himself in a city quite different from the one he left behind. The normally busy wharves were now decimated. Blood-spattered awnings and splintered door frames were all that waited to greet him. And the people, merchants, beggars, fishermen, were nowhere to be found. Others had taken their place. This tale is far from over. If you require a break, by all means, take your time. I am happy to see you. I have all the time in the world. The prince made his way along the torn and blasted district, haunted by visions from his past. The dockside tavern where he'd spent many late nights was now reduced to cinders. Babylon's proud armada, which he would often come to greet, 
lay cracked and broken, cast to the bottom of the Euphrates. This tale is far from over. Please let me know when you're ready to hear more. Everywhere there are signs of battle. But what of Babylon's guard? Where have they all gone? Should I continue from here when you return? I will continue my story from here next time. Why is it that every time disaster strikes, I find myself without a proper blade? Still, it's better than nothing. Would you like to hear more?
Kylina! No! No way into the city now. I will have to climb this siege tower and enter from above. Sense the others who have passed through this place, intent on bringing harm to my family. Four weeks I've been at sea, and every day spent dreaming of my return to Babylon. But never, in all my visions of the future, did I suspect a homecoming such as this. War. It is the only answer. But war with who? Why? Continue my good. This is a fine place to start the tale next time. You should know that it was not love that drove him, but duty. I was his responsibility. He had made a promise, a promise that was now broken and undone. As with all mistakes he had made, the prince meant to fix this. A noble goal to be certain but a selfish one as well, for he was motivated to ease his own pain. I know these streets. Knew them anyway. I must keep pace with Kylina if I'm to find the one responsible for this.
Should I continue from here when you return? Where is kind Asha, who would stand before her stall selling fruits and flowers? Or the errant children, making trouble as all young ones do? Gone. All gone. Where is kind Asha, who would stand before her stall selling fruits and flowers? Or the errant children, making trouble as all young ones do? Gone. All gone. Oh, my God. 
Where is kind Asha, who would stand before her stall selling fruits and flowers? Or the errant children, making trouble as all young ones do? Gone. All gone. Is this where I should resume the tale next time? Home. And yet nothing is as I remember. Objects once familiar and comforting now fill me with uncertainty and dread. What has happened here? <laughs> Ah! <sighs> 
Home. And yet nothing is as I remember. Objects once familiar and comforting now fill me with uncertainty and dread. Home. And yet nothing is as I remember. Objects once familiar and comforting now fill me with uncertainty and dread. What has happened here?
I should be resting now, recovering from my time away, or sitting with father. Instead, I'm forced to run and hide, sneaking about like a common thief, hunted in my own city. Should I continue from here, or I will continue my story from here next time. attention to what the prince overheard as he drew close to where I was being kept. Is this where I should read? Good. This is a fine place to start the table next time. Many years ago, I journeyed with the Maharaja of India to the island of time, intending to claim its secrets. What we discovered was a barren, ruined place, its halls deserted, and its guardians gone to sand. Strange tales was the spoke of an empire, an empress of time. But of this enigmatic creature, there was no trace. We returned to India with treasure and a staff. An empty hourglass covered in jewels and books. Such secrets they contained. For even then, I was an older man and 
knew that my time would soon be at an end. The books showed me that life eternal was not beyond my reach, but it required the essence of the Empress herself, the power of the sand. But you were gone. They were gone. So I thought. I turned my attention towards others. I left that thing behind. But then, four weeks ago, the dagger stirred. Whisper to me in my sleep. It drew me here towards Babylon. Alas, the Maharaja did not share my vision, would not grant me leave. So I slew him and claimed his kingdom, his army for my own. Nothing would stand between me and my desire. Recklessly, the prince drew his weapon and charged forward, intending to rescue me. It was as if he had learned nothing from his past adventures. Or perhaps he'd simply forgotten, made blind and deaf by fear and rage. This is how it happened. This is how I died. No! Vizier! Ah, you must be the Prince of Persia. Come home at last. Too late, I'm afraid. I believe I have something of yours. No! Give what I have done, wherever you are.
Should I continue? Then? I will continue my story from here next time. Continue my story from here, Laura Calderon. Once more, the wheels of suffering are set in motion by my hand. In taking Kylina from the island of time, I have changed the course of history. Without the sands of time, I never journeyed to Azad, never killed the Vizier. Now he lives again, driven by the same mad desire. I promise no harm. Should I continue for good? This is a fine place to start the tale next time. And we'll come to her. deeper into the palace, and further from my enemy. My arm! What's happening? What has the Vizier done to me? I don't... Everything had come full circle. The Prince had resurrected his greatest enemy. Worse, he had accidentally delivered me into the man's hands. Unleashing a nightmare plague across Babylon. As if this was not enough, 
the prince had nearly been transformed by the sands himself. Though he had avoided death, he had not escaped entirely untouched. Wake up, prince. Wake up. Wake up! The way behind you is gone, so you will have to find another exit from these sewers. Be quick about it. Start moving. What? Who's there? Be careful. The planks are slick. Mind your balance. <gasps> What the 
have I become? You sand monster? Call it what you wish, Prince. You've been given the ability to destroy your enemies. Now use it. What benefit is this? Even as I fight them, I grow weaker. Kill them, then. Let their lives replenish yours. How it goes, does it not? Lead them into the light! Strike while they are blind! This is not permanent? It is, if you want it to be. I do not. But you will. Why then is this happening to me? You have been infected.
twisted by the sands of time, as I am sure you have noticed. Maybe it's the dagger. Maybe it's all the time you've spent amongst the sands. Or <laughs> amongst the Empress. Either way, you are resisting it. Mostly. Mostly? You did just transform into something rather unique, so I think the word is quite appropriate. Think of it this way. You have been given a gift. You're stronger, faster. Uglier. Now, now. That explains the transformation. But who are you? Have you not realized? I am your untapped potential, your unrealized dreams. I am part of you. You... You're inside me? Gone now. Water seems to fight this corruption. Why did you hide this from me? What? And ruin all the fun? Is this where I should resume the tale next time? I will continue my story from here next time.
When the prince was struck by the sands of time, something was woken within. Something strange and cunning. Something dark. The seven years spent on the run had embittered the prince and made him hard. This burden sustained his other half, gave it strength. The prince was tempted to do as it said, for it was a light in the darkness. Offering comfort and guidance to a man who had just lost everything. But what were its intentions? Why did it help him? Only time would tell. Father would tell me stories. Pay about attention. Something's happening down there. What is that? It's the Vizier. He has been completely transformed. Interesting. He has used the power of the sands to transform his army. And these artifacts will allow him to transport them across the city with ease. He appears to be in complete control. Things do not look too good for you at the moment. I will not let the Vizier have Babylon! My city! My throne! He has used that beam as a gate. We will follow him through it. certainly went according to plan, did it not? You really should know by now that entering portals made of sand only leads to trouble. I will simply have to resort to a more traditional form of transport. Hopefully with greater success. <laughs>
Well done. Wonderful. Do we not have enough to deal with already? Chariot should get us home. Are you sure you can control this thing? more the prince began the journey home, his mind of fire with visions of the justice he would visit upon the vizier. He 
vigilant. Done well, Prince. Though I'm sure it was not intentional. Sure, you can control this thing. Let us hope. If I crash, it is the end for both of us. The prince. Stop him. And so, once more, the prince began the journey home. His mind a fire with visions of the justice he would visit upon the vizier. Vigilant. Done well, Prince. Though I am sure it was not intentional. Watch out! That was close. Behind that column. The once bright and vibrant streets of Babylon now stood all but deserted, its inhabitants either dead or fled. Those left behind suffered terribly, captured, tortured, and transformed. But the prince did not notice this. So focused was he on the vizier. I'm impressed. Oh, good. Your opinion means a great deal to me. Is that how you thank the man who just saved your life? First, you did not save my life. I did. Second, you are not a man. Just a disembodied voice. A ghost. And third, I never asked for your help. And I certainly do not need it. While I admire your bravado, you would be wise to show some respect. And you would be wise to keep quiet. You are distracting me and we are no longer alone. Should I continue from here when you return? <laughs> 